U.S. President Donald Trump's first budget is earmarking $800 million in reimbursements to Pakistan for its support to U.S.-led coalition forces combating insurgency and terrorism in the region, which is $100 million less than the amount set aside for 2016. This is not money that Pakistan will get for sure because payments under this head are consequent upon Islamabad's counter-terrorism efforts, especially in rolling back the Haqqani network that is based in Pakistan and operates in Afghanistan. Of the $900 million earmarked in 2016, under the Head Coalition Support Fund CSF, in the U.S. military budget, Pakistan received only $550 million, that was transferred in March 2017, the rest was not paid because the administration could not certify Pakistan's counterterrorism efforts. Dissatisfaction with Pakistan's counterterrorism efforts run deep in the United States now, cutting across party lines, and policymakers have struggled to find ways to move Islamabad to do more against terrorists based on its soil and backed by it. Linking CSF money to its counterterrorism measures was one of them. The administration could earlier seek a waiver of the certification to proceed with the payment, but the U.S. Congress took away that provision in 2016, making it mandatory with no exemptions. Pakistan stands to suffer major cuts in financial support it gets from the United States under various heads of Trump's budgetary proposals announced this week or pass as proposed by Congress. From the U.S. State Department, Pakistan stands to receive $190 million less than in 2016, going down from $544 million to $334 million of which $100 million will be earmarked for foreign military assistance, money Pakistan can use to buy military equipment from the United States. This amount is also down from $225 million, $265 million according to a different account. The administration has said it wants to move some countries that get financial help under foreign military assistance from grants to loans that will come with repayment obligations with interest, barring close allies Israel. Egypt and Jordan. The State Department has opposed this shift arguing in an internal memo, according to CBS News, it will end in failure because these countries will no longer feel encouraged to buy U.S.-made military hardware. About the proposed budgetary allocation for Pakistan, the State Department said in a note to Congress, Pakistan plays a key role in U.S. counterterrorism strategy, the peace process in Afghanistan, nuclear nonproliferation efforts, and stability and economic integration in South and Central Asia. Enjoy this video? Please do, comment, like, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.